My name is Diane Saunders. Uh, I'm an RN. I work at a local hospital. And I work in ambulatory care service. Or you can say the clinic at National General Hospital. They haven't seen the worst yet. As long as those unemployment figures continue to rise, you're going to see more of those who are unemployed come to the hospital. Uh, we've noticed an influx of patients who have just recently lost their jobs and as a result have lost their insurance. And it's difficult to take care of them. Okay, they can't afford medicine. Um, you have to be real creative with their care. You know, not all medicines are four dollars. Not all medicines are free. So how are they going to take care of themselves? You know, there's a push for preventative me medicine. You know, you have to take care of yourself. You got to prevent these diseases from happening. But if you don't have a job, if you don't have insurance, how can you? Okay, um, how can you afford? to even come to the hospital, to live, to feed, to clothe yourself. So the health care that, that we have in this, this crisis right now, some, there needs to be more money put into it. A lot of patients, if they're not coming through our clinic, they have to go upstairs and get an imaging card. And still, that takes care of their care there at the hospital. It doesn't take care of the medicine. So, not everybody's willing to give free medicine. You know, the pharmaceuticals are out here to make a buck. And you have many patients falling through the cracks. A lot of them are used in emergency rooms, you know, for something like a sore throat. But they have no choice because they can't afford to go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. So the healthcare cost is going to go higher and higher because this is, the emergency room is the only place they have. And if we're not there, where are they going to go? I've watched patients' blood pressure rise. I'm like, you take their blood pressure, it's 220 over 130. Well, did you take your blood pressure medicine? No. Well, how long have you been out? Oh, a month. No, longer. Well, why? Because I, I, I don't have any money. I lost my job. Um, I had insurance, and uh, I, I couldn't go to the doctor. And my head kept hurting me. And this is why I came today. But I've been out my medicine for over a month. That's bad. That is really bad to hear something like that. That you can't afford to take your medicine or get it. And it took you over a month to come to the hospital, to this clinic, because somebody happened to tell you that there was somebody could help you at least, and you scrape up the money to come. Now imagine if they had chest pain, or not even chest pain, just kind of tightness or indigestion, and they put that off, and come to find out they had a light heart attack. That's really bad. That's truly bad. Yeah. I feel that we have to have health care reform. We need universal insurance. Okay? The insurance companies are for themselves, not for people. They're for themselves to make that buck. I know that a lot of people do not want immigrants, illegal immigrants, to get care. I understand that. But if you do not give them the care, you're going to have more of a problem than what we're facing right now. I know they've crossed the border, but you don't know what they're bringing in from over from one border to another. If you do not protect them, there might be a disease that they're carrying that might become a pandemic, lead into an epidemic. So you have to, you have to take care of them because you don't want that to spread. It's the same main reason why if you go out to another country, you can't bring in fruits and, and vegetables and all that kind. Of, it'd be the same way. If they're coming in, you know, you got to protect them and protect yourself. 
So they have to have the health care, you know. But I feel that everybody deserves health care. Everybody. I understand the limited amount of health care should be given to the illegals. But still give them basic. As far as the elderly and the poor, those who are underinsured and uninsured. You, you, it's your, your job. You know, you claim that your country is so how come your health care is so poor? Okay, great. Nice work.